Bro, dude, if I have another tutorial telling me something. Person. Welcome, guys. We are here today playing Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, made for the PS2, I believe in the year 2000 or 2001. I'm pretty sure Ratchet playing 2002, so I'm pretty sure this is 2001. Anyway, it's made by Night Dog, and never played this game before. A huge fan of Ratchet and Clank, though. Huge fan. That was, uh, that was weird. Uh, and we're just gonna start a new game. And, yeah. I'm emu I am emulating this, so if you guys uh, see anything weird, it's because I'm emulating. Uh, so that's it's gonna be fun. I've actually never played this series before. I hear great things about it though, so hopefully this is going to leave a great impression on me. And yeah, we're just gonna go empty. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father. And my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Idiot! Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> These graphics are looking so crisp. So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Spooky. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. <laughs> Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> this sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why, Why did, did they build they... this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah! 
What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark ego. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got Love a interest. brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! All right, so we're here. All right, guys, we are back. I uh, changed the controls, and yeah, let, let's this just hop into this game. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. All right, we gotta. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. So we have a double jump, like Ratchet and Clank. We have a single attack, not like Ratchet and Clank. Oh, we have a roll. Oh, what? What is that? Spin. We we have a spin. Oh, we can do in the air. Oh, we can do. Oh, can I jump? Can I do double jump? At, oh. Hmm. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. All right, so there aren't many attacks in this, I've noticed. The roll, though, can can I do a dash roll, a dash attack? That's weird. The only time you can do a double jump is after the apex of the jump. So you can't do it like before you reach the top of your jump, which is weird. I think. I think that's weird. Alright. So we got thingies. Each area, you can 
find even more power cells. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Alright, so I know a little bit about Eco. I know each color gives you a different effect. And so I'm assuming what we're gonna go do is do like an avatar quest where we go around and we meet the sages of each eco and then we go to the dark eco guy and then maybe the guy we already saw was the dark eco sage mage thing this is a precursor door it can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body Oh, you can jump after it. That's cool. Blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. A lot of a lot of tutorial stuff here. No enemies yet. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Another power cell. All right. So I'm guessing this game is gonna be kind of like Spyro, just being a, like a uh, just collect a bunch of things. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Well, I, that looks like it's as high as a double jump. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of. Eco. Oh my god. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Bro, do I have another tutorial telling me something? Person. I'm gonna kill myself! So, do we unlock more abilities throughout the game? No. Because we don't really have that many. Jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Are you, at least you didn't pause the game when you were saying that. So these power orbs... They seem to be like golden bolts, but a lot more plentiful. Oh. <clears throat> Have I gotten everything here yet? There's okay. The whoa, that's a lot. Two thousand. And then, I have all of the power cells, but I don't have all the thingies. I'm gonna try to 100% this game. So, I have to... So, alright. So... Boo. Alright. Oh, you can do, like, a high jump after that, like Mario. That's interesting. This game does seem to control decent, although it's a little wonky at times. Because the double jump, I don't know, just that double jump, only be able to do that after the apex is kind of weird. And we don't have that many moves. But so far, I like the atmosphere. It kind of feels like Crash Bandicoot with the forestness. But that's probably because they made for Crash Bandicoot. Anything over here? Yep, sure is. Hey, oh, these are my last three. Guys are rock. Alright, so we already 100% guys are rock already. I wonder. I don't think we'll probably be coming back here. This, yeah, just the tutorial. All right, so guys, I think that's going to conclude. I know basically the entire video was just a cutscene, uh, but hopefully next time we'll be tackling. I think it's called Sandover Village is the name of the place that we're about to go to. So yeah, we're just about to watch this and yeah. training boys but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead and in no problem we get the moves eh jack we'd love to stay and chat big green but we're uh itching to get on with our adventures fine fine adventure away then and while you're out adventuring why don't you make yourself useful my darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. No. 
All of you. Get out of here! All right, so I think that's going to conclude our part one, guys. Again, I know not much happened, but hopefully this is the start of a great journey because I've heard a lot of great things from Jack and Daxter, and especially because I'm such a huge fan of Ratchet and Clank. I'm expecting a lot from this game, and more specifically Jack 2, because I've heard a lot of great things about Jack 2. So yeah, next time we are tackling Sandover Village and the or the beach or whatever it is, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.